Hi, I'm Peter Holly, President and CEO of Fabled Copper Corp. And today I would like to tell you about our latest new copper findings on the EM1 target, where pure geophysics and boots on the ground exploration has led to the discovery of what is believed to be the possible Neal vein extension, where we sampled, get this, 10.55% copper. And this was based on pure exploration work. Not bad for a new finding. As a result of our successes, we have increased our land holdings by approximately 2,924 additional hectares. As we announce the results of 2021 surface field work on our Musqua Copper Project, comprised of the Neal property and the Toro property in British Columbia. The company also holds the rights to the Bronson property. A total of 19 specific areas were mapped and prospected during the 2021 field season. And we started the new year by reporting our findings on the Lady Luck occurrence in the south end of the Neal property, followed by the MAC, the 8A, Harris, the 2A and 2B, the Creek, Key South, Belcher Creek, the Magnum Mine UAV drone mission, and the Magnum, the Neal area UAV drone mission, the Neal Vein Breccia, and now the EM-1 copper occurrence. As you can see, the numerous occurrences in the Neal property alone are outstanding. And we continue to report results from the 2021 field season. We know that the Neal Vein Breccia is coincident with a shear zone next to a large mafic diabase dike, which formed a resistant spur. The dike and the shear zone are important as they host a discontinuous series of mineralized quartz carbonate veins occurring at or close to the dike's contacts in the shear zone. Targeting geophysical signatures on strike for the possible extension of the Neal vein or breccia using magnetics, mag, and electromagnetics, EM, plus high-level GIS data compilation led the team to examine one particular target late in the season, and this was approximately 1.5 kilometers on strike. The mag signature indicates a shallower, high-intensity linear magnetic features, which was thought to represent magnetic diabase dikes that could have associated copper mineralization. The reduced to pole mag shows what is interpreted to be a deep seated magnetic body with shallower mafic or magnetic linear bodies. This could be diabase dikes with copper. The three main conductors, which are part of the deep seated magnetic body, are conductive enough to persist through early time or channel 4, mid time or channel 10, and late time or channel 16 the deepest penetrating. Once the EM-1 target was identified on September the 6th, 2021, last year, the explorations team, two senior geologists, flew to the area. And due to warm weather, glacial retreat has resulted in at least 200 meters of additional exposure in this area. And it should be noted, there has been no documented copper occurrences in this area. The airborne EM anomaly, EM-1, is located in a valley and is situated 200 meters east of the creek flowing eastward into the Yardley Creek, on strike approximately 1.5 kilometers from the Neal Vein Breccia occurrence. The two veins were observed on the north face slope near the beginning of the valley, 900 meters south southwest from the anomaly. Because of time restraints and topography, the exposures were not prospected. While prospecting downslope from a location 200 meters north of the exposures, eight samples, D 723533, 2537, and 539 to 542 of mineralized quartz carbonate float were collected at elevations of 1,475 to 1,600 meters above sea level. And these samples assayed from a low of 0.71% copper to a high of 10.55% copper. 
three of the samples, D, 72, 35, 41, 535, and 536, contain greater than 1.23% copper. And with sample D-7235-36, a veining with massive calcopyrite and boronite exhibiting a high copper content of 10.55%. Here is one of the field geologists. Note the distance and the size for scale. In addition, the photos, samples, locations, and all assay data pertaining to the assays taken, 36 elements, were tagged in a geotag format for plotting in KML or KMZ GIS systems such as Google Earth. Going forwards, the positive results from the prospecting or ground truthing of the EM-1 geophysical anomaly and the related copper veining found. The team will reevaluate this area in further detail during the summer of 2022. Plus, this will be a potential UAV drone mission to gather additional data. The company has increased its lands holdings by an additional 2,924.43 hectares due to the positive findings as we process the 2021 data. Follow us, Fable Copper Corporation, exploring for green copper in the Musqua project. Music